came to pray to Isabel. Amen. Amen. Psalms 101 <coughs> talks about a few different topics. And um, it called my attention while I was praying. Every time I pray, I ask the Lord, give me a word for the people. I need to be <coughs> edified before I can edify, or you can be edified by the same. The Bible says, give unto others what the Lord has given unto you. It goes through the word, it goes through every other way. We need to uh, share the word that the Lord uh, gives us. As I was praying, I came over this chapter, and it called my attention because of the way David expresses himself when he said, I will sing of mercy and judgment. Mercy is the grace of God, the forgiveness, uh, the pardon, as well as judgment is where we are uh, held accountable. Amen? Amen? When we go to court, uh, we, are sit, we, we, we stand before a judge, a human judge, who decides which way to go. If there's a jury, they all decide whether we're guilty or not. Sometimes people could plead uh, the mercy of the court and 1% uh, out of a thousand they will get it in America. Does that make sense? You got what I said? Anyone else got what I said? You go to court and plead for the mercy of the court. Amen? 1% out of a thousand, the judge will grant it to you. In a month. Now, if you have blue eyes and you're good looking, you know, and uh, you're the opposite sex standing in front, they might say, well, I think I'm going to grant you what you want. But that's not going to happen all the time because of your good looks. Amen? Human judges are just human, unless they are believers, which very much of the time you will not find a, a judge that's a Christian standing or sitting up there. Most of the time these judges are not believers. I told you a while back that the biggest liars in the system are the lawyers. Amen? They only tell what they have to say or say what they have to say because they want to win the case. Amen? Mm -hmm. Even if they know you did it. Well, my client is innocent and so on because they got to win that case for that. That's more money in the pocket. But we know, we all know what judgment is, but when it comes to God, judgment has no pity. <clears throat> judgment has no mercy unless you went through it through the blood of Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank God for the blood of Jesus. Amen. If it wasn't for the blood, we all won't be here today. Amen. The Lord would have destroyed everything from the time of Adam and Eve's sin. He would have done away with everything. We won't be here. We are here because of Adam and Eve. Amen. Through the descendants. It doesn't matter what color, what creed, <laughs> what religion, whatever it may be. We are all brothers and sisters through the creation of God through Adam and Eve. Amen. So when you see somebody that's ugly in the mall next time, remember that's your brother. When you see someone good looking, say, oh, that's my brother. <laughs> Amen? Amen? Because through creation, Adam and Eve, we are all brothers and sisters, whether you're from Italian, Italian Irish, Puerto Rican, Jewish, Greek, Syrian, Dutch. Praise God for the Dutch. <laughs> Praise the Lord for the Germans. Amen. The Germans. Amen. I thought you were German. I was trying to get some applause. <laughs> it doesn't matter what religion, race, color we 
we are, through Adam and Eve, we are brothers and sisters. Amen. Now, the sad part of this is that through Christ, not everybody is brothers and sisters. Amen. To be a brother in Christ, you need to have been washed in the same blood of Jesus to claim that brotherhood. Amen? In order to say that you are a brother in the Lord, you have to have been born again, transformed and changed through the blood. Amen. I always say this. You know how it is when you have your siblings in the flesh? And don't mess with my brother, man. This is my brother. Anybody mess with my brother, you're going to mess with me because that's my blood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we defend each other in the human side as brothers and sisters, even though you hate them. They're always coming, they're always coming in your room and stealing your stuff, you know. <laughs> you want to, you know, tear them apart, but when it comes to seriousness, that's your brother. That's your blood. Amen? And people say, I will defend them till I go to the grave. So, imagine uh, in the Lord, the price that Christ paid on the cross, shedding his blood because of our judgment, we were all judged and doomed to go to, what's that word, Mike? Welcome back, Michael. What's that word? Hell. Hell. Can you say it again? Hell. We were all doomed to hell. 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 We were judged. When Adam and Eve sinned, because of that sin, which passed from generation to generation, we were doomed to be judged to hell. 